She is right, I am Lucy. Uh, it's really nice to see you all out this evening, especially with Valentine's Day right around the corner. It's here for Valentine's Day, right? Woo! Yeah, actually, below that day. And below dating. Gross. Slow. Um, actually, my favorite part about dating is breaking up. Because then you get to look back on and find what you were on. Um, <laughs> My favorite part about dating is breaking up because then you get to look back and find something that you learned from the relationship. <laughs> Yay! Sorry. <laughs> like in my last breakup, I found out that when you cry in public, people will slow wave at you. <laughs> Which is kind of touching but also very distracting. I am trying to cry here in public, so please don't look at me. <laughs> Then there's those relationships that afterwards you just can't believe you ever dated a douchebag like that. I'll get completely grossed out thinking about the fact that we were intimate. It makes me so sick to my stomach, I just want to uncross my legs and barf. <laughs> sick is different. I was sick today. I threw up my arms and said I am sick of this. <laughs> Alright, alright. For those of you who have been counting, that was not funny. It was just a haiku. You know what else is not very funny? Snowman candles. Those are sad candles. Okay, I know you guys have been wondering. So yes, I was born an artist. So thank you for not laughing at my birth defect. Some of the things that I deal with from being born this way is that I suffer from seeing everything as art, which unfortunately leads people to think that I am a pack rat or, God forbid, a hoarder, which, by the way, is just a very nice way to say a fucking slob. <laughs> and fucking slob is actually candy coating it. These people live in garbage. <laughs> But this is where people make their mistake, because all this stuff taking over my entire house, leaving me this tiny little pathway that I've dug out for me to get around, is not garbage. These are materials. <laughs> Another thing um, I suffer from from being born an artist is, well, obviously starving, depression, and then very chapped lips. Every time I need some chapstick, all I can ever find are glue sticks. Which goes on purple, but does dry clear. No kissing during purple. Oh, God. Am I alone when I say that invisible tape sucks? I'm sorry, but I just can't see the appeal. And it might be really immature of me to say this, but I hate white pants. <laughs> because of white pants, I was never allowed to put my shoes up on any furniture, including a park bench, because, as my mother said, you never know when somebody with white pants might be sitting there later. <laughs> well, you know what, white pants? Thanks a lot for ruining my childhood. <laughs> you and my deadbeat dad. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, those words are a little unfair. It's not his fault. He was born an artist, too. <laughs> wants to paint pictures instead of being in the picture. <laughs> you know, I used to gauge how angry my father was by how quickly he would slam the lazy boy from, or straight into the upright position from reclining. He was really mad. <laughs> um, when my family and I, oh shoot, sorry. Um, I hate it when people tell me that it's my only choice. It makes my brain want to explode, because that doesn't sound like a choice. <laughs> when I used to go to restaurants with my family when I was little, I never understood who in their right mind would choose to spend 50 cents in the bathroom for a sanitary napkin when napkins have been provided for free on all of the tables. <laughs> Are these table napkins done? <laughs> pretty dirty to me. <laughs> I wish I could be more like an oyster. It sure would be nice to just produce one precious pearl a month. <laughs> it would also be nice to be a natural aphrodisiac. <laughs> I guess while we're down there too, 
I wish my eggs were more useful to me, like perhaps if I could lay them and eat them. <laughs> At least then I'd have a chance of getting off of food stamps. <laughs> Dill, don't you? I love making dill bread because you always get the chance to yell, the dildo is rising. <laughs> I also love it when people cut the word second down into sec. And they're like, oh, hold on, I'll be ready in just a sec. Hold on, just a sec, give me a sec. Because then you get to say, no, no more sex. <laughs> Found out. This might be a good one for all you guys on Valentine's Day, so keep this one in your back pocket. This is a true fact. Turns out that sex is actually good for headaches. So next time you hear the old cliche, not tonight, I have a headache. You can just be like, oh no, baby, Lucy said that the endorphins and like the pain of leaving hormones that are released during orgasm might actually balance the low levels of serotonin in your brain causing the headache. I bet you she'll be like, who the fuck is Lucy? <laughs> <laughs> can you know, but really, can you imagine the first patient that got described to that? <laughs> They'd be like, uh, Dr. Johnson, excuse me, but this is just a crude drawing of a penis. <laughs> He'd be like, yeah, take two of those and don't call me in the morning. <laughs> There's a prescription drug I would not be ashamed of being addicted to. <laughs> Um, so I don't think that chivalry is dead. I just think that people got sick of trying to pronounce that word. I also feel like the word awkward is awkward. It's like A-W-K-W? -W? What is going on here? Words are fun, aren't they? Love words. Did you guys actually know that the word scuba is an acronym? Does everyone know what an acronym is? Yeah. yeah? It's when every letter in the word stands for what another word. For? Oh, would you like to know? Um, it stands for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. That's right. Yeah, so um, if I told you that I needed some scuba gear, it would mean that I was having my period. <laughs> would you like to hear my acronym? Self-contained undergarment bleeding apparatus. Gross. <laughs> Girls are so gross, period, in a sentence. <laughs> um, did you, are you guys familiar with uh, the Arctic whale? It's known as the narwhal. It's got a long horn. Real popular. Did you know that that horn is actually a tooth? Yes. Can you believe, the, can you imagine what the wisp is on that thing? <laughs> oh no, they're called narwhal. <laughs> um, my dog right now, unfortunately, has fleas. I can always tell when he has fleas because he'll give himself a Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> if I happen to fart on a game day, that's just my butt saying go ducks. <laughs> Good thing I'm not a Beavers fan. Because <laughs> queefing is embarrassing. <laughs> oh god, girls are so gross, I'm sorry. <laughs> But you know, not as gross as white pants. I'm trying to bring it back around, but seriously, if there's anyone out there wearing white pants tonight, can I just say, I dare you to take responsibility of your wardrobe choices. Your pants are white. You cannot sit anywhere. It's your only choice. Period. End of sentence. <laughs> That's all I really have. I could come up with something else, but. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>